All right, so I'm in the barn. I'm gonna be cutting some of the plastic pieces, the acrylic, and also some Keltite fiberglass material. These are gonna be the isolators between the high voltage sections and the battery. Um, some are gonna be a little bit shorter so you can run the V-Sense wire in through, but um, I'm gonna use a table saw here, cut up some slices. Got everything all cut up. I got uh, the small modules on top, the two modules in the bottom, and one of the long modules inside. Also, I got some of the thicker ones on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start assembling the batteries, and these will be the isolators between them, so that anything that's high voltage won't be able to cross from one module to the other. So these are all electrically isolated. The acrylic is for the outside. Um, I'm gonna put some lights in there so you can see the batteries on the inside. Hopefully that'll look kind of cool. But uh, we'll see. Uh, let's move forward. Well, we're in the middle of assembling the batteries, I'm trying to figure out kind of the last steps of assembly, but it's gonna weigh upwards of 230 pounds when it's all finished. So I wanted to break this into two different modules, but I really didn't have space. Um, I'm real tight on the fit. So I need to figure out a way to basically lift this bad boy. So we're gonna be putting some um, straps across it and I'm gonna make a little lifting um, rig that's gonna come across here. Cause while we install it as well, they're a tight squeeze, they have to actually tilt and dive in almost like a engine um, an engine swap for like a V8. Oh, that a hole! <laughs> that cool down and then uh, we'll hook it up to the crane we'll install the modules inside the bigger metal piece and then we'll lift it up and see if everything holds shape too concerned about any high voltage stuff right now because we haven't connected everything in series so the maximum amount of voltage we're using is 33 volts um, so you can pretty much touch this stuff no problem as long as you don't push too hard but once we start attaching the modules we'll start using high voltage gloves we're going to be checking it uh, periodically for any sort of isolation leaks out to the module because that can be a very dangerous thing as well so I'm gonna slide this bad boy in So you can see I cut out the end plates so we have access to the intermodule bus bars, which for now will be these kind of pieces here. So they're almost to the right length. And then we'll be adding a steel bar across here, bolted from the outside with countersunk screws to make sure that the module doesn't remove from this way. And then we'll probably put another cap up the top. Fresh after effects. Oh. Yeah. Got it all loaded up, 
Now it's time to attach the inner module connections and then we're going to put it up on this bad boy, the lifting crane, and we're going to install it in the motorcycle. Okay, almost there. And move it forward a little bit. That's it. I didn't get that. Okay, so I got the, I guess you would call it the third module finished. This is a four st strings of 11S, so 44S in total, 15P. I got it set up on my lifting rig with a little lifting piece. I'm going to pick it up, swing it around, and I got to tilt it like a V8 and drop it in. I'm here by myself, so I'm going to have to use some straps and some other stuff, but hopefully it works out. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Um, pretty much got the whole entire battery installed in the bike. Just got to put the fasteners in, uh, tighten everything down, and hook up some electrical stuff. But super freaking excited. This project's moving forward. Um, this whole thing took about two months, three months in total. So really awesome to have this finished up, and I can't wait to wire everything up, high voltage, low voltage, and get the back wheel spinning. So that's the next step. We're gonna get the back wheel spinning using the battery, put it on the ground, I'm gonna sit in it. We're gonna take it over down the street, and I should be able to at least test running to get up about 60 miles per hour. So proof's gonna be in the pudding. Your fingers crossed. I think everything's working out and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So really appreciate you guys following along in the series. Um, we're still looking for a name for this guy. So if you got any good suggestions, go ahead and comment below. Uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. How's it going?